Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna explain why I want to be a neurosurgeon. Apologies for my crappy accent and my poor mic quality. This video is for testing my accent, recording and editing skills, so if, if I do something wrong, please don't judge me. I'm trying to play around a bit in the content and creator area, so hopefully you'll enjoy my bit. Thank you, and let's go. Everyone has a dream, and I'm not the exception. I mean, who doesn't dream? When I was around 12 years old, I decided to be a neurosurgeon. Why? I don't know, just cause they make huge racks of money out of their job. Just kidding. But, why did I choose this career? Well, when I was in elementary school, my social studies teacher, Ms. Brent, I told us an event that changed her life. When she was 5 years old, she was playing on the front yard when suddenly a doggy attacked her and got bitten all over her face and skull. She was taken to the hospital immediately. Her life was on the line. Doctors had to do a surgery immediately as she started to present lack of oxygen in the brain as well as difficulty to swallow. Brent also presented a radical loss on her sight and smell and if not treated immediately, she could have lost her life. At the end, everything went smoothly. She rapidly reintegrated to her normal life. Even though she's okay, her scars and traumas left marks all over her. After Miss Brent's explanation, my brain started to think of ways on how did the doctors fix her mind. <laughs> so as I arrived home, I started to search up the type of doctors that operates minds and after hours and hours, I hit the pot. This kind of doctors were called neurosurgeons. And what does a neurosurgeon do? Well, a neurosurgeon assesses, diagnoses, and treats conditions that affect your body's nervous system, which includes your brain, spinal cord, and spinal column. At first glance, I thought it was going to be an easy job. But after looking up the requirements I need to accomplish to become a neurosurgeon, I was in the process of changing my mind. To be qualified to perform neurosurgery as a future neurosurgeon, I must complete, check this out, four years of pre-medical education at a college or university, resulting in a bachelor's degree. Well, I'm in the process of that, but, you know, two years spent of my whole life. Four years of medical school resulting in a doctor of medicine or doctor on osteop... Uh, big word, big word. Osteopathy, you dumb. Yeah. Degree. One year of intern... Intern... No, sh I can't even... One year of internship in general surgery. Five to seven years of residency postgraduate in training in a neurosurgery program. And if that wasn't enough... Like all medical professionals, neurosurgeons also need to complete continuing education, such as conferences, research, and classes throughout their whole career to keep up with the advances of technology in their field of medicine. This also means neurosurgery is one of the costliest medical disciplines and also one of the longest lastings with training averaging of 15 years and tuition fees reaching up to Based on Harvard Medical School fees, it is around 900,000 euros just for studying there. But me as a student that has lucid dreams to enter to a recognized university, using as an example Harvard, I also have to complete the following. Study for at least one year academic work in an institution in the United States or Canada. 
hopefully accepting my five years studying in an elementary school in the US, fluency in English if my vocabulary and accent doesn't get worse, and bachelor's degree if I decide not to become a dropout. But this also comes with some advantages, as some neurosurgery subspecialities fields include epilepsy surgery, functional neurosurgery, neuro-oncology, pediatric neurosurgery, and spinal surgery. A neurosurgeon is skilled in several surgical and procedure techniques including open surgery, minimal invasion surgery, endoscopic surgery, microsurgery, radiosurgery, endovascular surgery, and chronic pain interventional procedures. Neurosurgeons also have to be skilled at operating and analyzing the following test machines. CT, computed tomography scans, MRI, magnetic renaissance imaging scans, PET, positron emission tomography scans, magneto, okay, I'm not gonna say this word, uh, electrons, I'm not gonna say this word again. <laughs> Even though this career takes 15 to 16 years to accomplish, meaning that the little to no social life that I got will vanish the moment I step in classes at the uni, all knowledge collected from those years will be worth it or it will be thrown in the trash can. Well, knowing lots of stuff of one of the most unknown part of your body sounds kind of interesting as you will know something that 99% of people don't get it, plus you get to draw an open patient's heads bald heads so yeah i'm going to do this career yeah sure yep i'm gonna do it well guys see you on the next bit bye